What's up YouTube, it's Fitzbro and I'm about to show you one of the most overpowered strategies in all of Company of Heroes 3 right now for the British forces. Now, hopefully you already got a chance to take a look at my British faction guide on my channel. If you didn't, make sure you subscribe, check that out. And I've been digging into the British forces out on the ladder and I'm gonna be talking you through this actual game. I played against a player that I was able to win in under 10 minutes. Okay, so let's talk about it. The infantry section spam. The infantry section is your mainline unit for the British forces. Uh, you can, at the very beginning of the game, build your uh, additional building that you need to train these units uh, and you can immediately start training them. So you see, I started with my Royal Engineer and I already have my first infantry section in queue. Now, these are your mainline infantry units. They can be uploaded or upgraded so for the british forces you don't have snipers bazookas machine guns you've got your your infantry section and with spinning your munitions you can either give them uh the boys gun which is an anti-tank super strong gun you can give it a recce package which unlocks uh flares smokes um, and you can call in a artillery barrage or you can uh, choose to upgrade to having a machine gun now, what you're going to want to do is at the very beginning of the game, start spawn, uh, start training these infantry sections. You don't need to train any engineers or anything else. Don't even worry about the machine guns. You want to aim for about four or five infantry sections. And you could seriously just keep making them. And the goal is uh, you want to try to kind of figure out where the enemy is capturing their points and stay at a range and, and hopefully in that tier three cover so you see right now i'm capturing the points out on the map i'm starting to spread out my troops and what i'm going to try to do is basically swarm my units together and surround the opponent of course you don't want to be close range to any unit that might have a submachine gun so be aware of the uh, type of units you're going up against stay at range stay in that tier three cover and try not to take too much damage you want to try to get up about four or five infantry sections and then you're going to uh, upgrade uh, your infantry stats at your HQ. So you'll see me do that once I get about four or five of these guys. Okay, so I'm grabbing the points. I've got my fuel coming in. I've got my manpower coming in. You see me queuing up those infantry sections. You want to just keep them coming as fast as possible. And here we go for my first contact. Immediately, instead of trying to capture that point, I took cover there. Now, I've only got the tier two cover. And I, instead of capturing that point in the middle of the map, you see me actually bringing that, uh, those infantry over to meet over at that star where that first engagement is going on right here. We've got my engineers in an engagement. Now, engineers, they have submachine guns, so you want to get really close to the enemy and you should be able to shred them. So if you see someone coming close to you, uh, try to close that gap if, as long as they don't have submachine guns or flamethrowers. Now here he was dropping a unit on top of me, so I just fell back to be in tier 3 cover and I've got two units here, so I basically have the advantage. And what you want to try to do is force any kind of retreat. If you even get one or two infantry to retreat, it starts a snowball effect and you're able to take like the entire map and you can see here look at this i've got the entire uh right side of the map i'm getting the top side of the map i've made two sections here already retreat i'm bringing more in i've got four infantry and it's just at the four minute mark and i'm going to keep those queued up now here he's trying to do a little flank on me so i'm just going to back up make sure i'm taking fights in cover don't sustain damage use that cover your troops are going to fight more efficiently my engineers are still capping up to the north and here i i typically will prioritize pulling troops off of cap points to surround the enemy to force these retreats like you're seeing right now and this is pretty much the gist of most of the strategy i've been working on trying to put together like a comprehensive build order like i have for the u.s forces but I gotta tell you, there are just so many different avenues for the British forces and you have to adjust so much that I haven't been able to really put together what I would like to call a standard build order. I'll keep working on it, 
But for now, I would highly recommend until this probably likely gets nerfed in the near future, spam some infantry out. And from here, you're going to, you can see me, I'm getting my upgrades right now for my infantry so that I can upgrade their stats. And then you can really take those fights. Try to avoid any big fights until you have that uh, first upgrade right there. You see me picking it up, infantry training. I'll have it there in just a second. Cost 200 manpower. And then once I have infantry training, I'm doing pretty good with map control. I go to the tier, tier two. Maybe I'll get an anti-tank gun. Maybe I'll mix in some other units. You really have to adapt to what the opponent's doing. If they've got a machine gun in a building, I just stay away from the infantry. I just move around, go to other places. The map's so big, they've got one machine gun. Go somewhere else and maybe wait till you can get a mortar. Uh, or maybe hope he'll maybe come out of the point. But even here, I got some low, inf low HP units. You need to make sure you keep them alive. Even losing one infantry section can be super critical. And the primary upgrade you're going to want to get on these is going to be the boys rifles because those are going to be anti-tank if they show up with a half track or any type of light armor. Uh, it's going to be what you're going to use to stop those. Okay, so uh, I'm taking control. You can see at this point I've got all three points under my control. Uh, I'm moving up. I'm making sure I'm healing my units in the back and get the Indian battle group. And you're going to get the tech in the top left. You see I've selected. It makes it 33% cheaper and faster to reinforce your troops. So when you've got a lot of infantry out here taking damage, there you go. A victory in under 10 minutes. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this strategy. Let me know in the comments below if it works for you, and I will see you guys in my next guide.